Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. I have a trumpet in my shop and I need to take the valves apart and the valve stem is stuck. There are several different ways to remove a valve stem that is stuck. The first one you should try and the easiest is to use the bench motor. Put the valve in the bench motor and tighten that up. Not too tight but tight enough that it won't slip. Hold on to the valve with one hand, with the other hand hold on to the chuck of the bench motor and then try twisting them in opposite directions. And you do need to be careful. Some of these ports can be sharp and they can cut your hand if this, if this slips. You need to be careful not to let your hand slip. If it does not come out easily this way, there is something else you can try. The next thing to do is take a screwdriver or something that will fit through this hole right here and you put that through there and use that as leverage. However, you do not want to put it through the spring because that can ruin the spring. I'm going to take another screwdriver and push the spring out of the way and then put the screwdriver through. So now I have a little bit of leverage. You need to be careful not to start up the bench motor when you're doing this. You may want to unplug it to make sure it doesn't start running. And then you have a little bit of leverage and take that and there we go. It came apart. You can see on the valve stem that there is a lot of corrosion. So either you can replace the valve stem or while it is still on the bench motor you can take a scraper and clean it up and also clean up the threaded part of the valve stem. You can also use a poker to do this job too. Clean that up till the corrosion is gone and also clean in the threadings. And then finally clean it up with a cloth. You also need to clean up the inside of the threading on the valve because that gets a lot of corrosion on it too. Usually this part of the valve does not corrode but the corrosion from the valve stem gets onto that part of the valve. You may also need to clean up the threading with a poker. Put the poker in the slot of the threading and turn that and just uh, screw it down until you get to the end. Then take a rag and clean it out. When you put the valve stem back on the valve, take some tuning slide grease and put a little bit on the threads of the valve stem and that will help it not to corrode quite as fast next time. Usually that will be enough to fix the problem of a stuck valve stem, but sometimes valve stems will break off and they will be really stuck in here and there's another way to get those out. This is a jeweler's saw. It has a very small blade on it and I'm going to use that to make a series of cuts in the broken valve stem. When you do this job you just want to cut the valve stem. You do not want to cut into the valve itself. Take the saw and cut into the valve stem and use your other finger to guide where the cut is. I made one cut so far and I was very careful to cut only the valve stem and not cut into the valve. And also you have to be careful on both sides of the cut not to cut into the valve. Now I'm going to make a few more cuts on this. I've made a series of cuts and now I'm going to try to take these little pieces off of there. I'm going to take my screwdriver and try to pry up some of these pieces and they should come off fairly easily. The spring is in there and it's gone right up to the top of the valve stem and if you need to get that out of the way, pull it down with one screwdriver and then put another screwdriver into there and that will keep the spring out of the way while you work on this. After I've taken a little more off of this I will probably be able to get the spring out. Now I'm going to use a pliers and usually I try to avoid using pliers on instruments because they can damage them but this valve stem is obviously already damaged. I just need to be careful not to damage the rest of the valve. So I'm going to take the pliers and I'm going to grab on only the valve stem portion of it on both sides and I'm going to be very careful to avoid the valve. And after I get that done I'm going to squeeze and try to break off some more of those parts. And it has shifted them a little. Now I'm going to turn it 90 degrees 
and do it again. And again, I'm being very careful to avoid the valve. If the pliers damages the top of the valve, you'll either need to fix it or replace the valve, and that gets very expensive. I'm going to keep squeezing this with the pliers and rotate it. I have a very small channel lock pliers, and I'm going to use that to try to get some of these chunks off of there. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to be very careful not to get the valve itself, but just get the valve stem and wiggle that back and forth until a part breaks off and then take off another part I'm just going to keep breaking those little parts off and weakening the valve stem until I can get the rest of it off I've taken all the little chunks of metal off the top and now the spring should come out. And I'm going to take the valve guide out too. All that's left now is the threaded part of the valve stem. And this one is not very corroded because I'm just using this for an example for the video. But usually if you've gotten to this point and it is still stuck, it's probably going to be very corroded. I have a set of small files that are different shapes. So I'm going to take the one that's triangular. I'm going to file this down from the inside. And if this is very corroded, it's usually easy to file. I'm filing the valve stem down from the inside and I'm being very careful not to file into the threadings of the valve. I'm going to file that down until I get to but not into the threadings on the valve. I filed one slot into the valve stem and now I'm going to file a couple more into there. I filed some slots into the valve stem and now I'm going to see if they'll come out easily or not. So, okay, they're still not coming out. So I'm going to file a few more slots. I'm just going to keep weakening this up until it comes out. I filed a few more slots into there and I will see if it comes out. Yeah, there it goes. So I've gotten part of that out and now the rest of it should come out easily. There it is. Then after that you just take a poker and clean up the inside of the threadings. Clean up the inside with a rag and then you're done. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful and please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.